Good afternoon, <clears throat> excuse me, and welcome to my daily chat. <laughs> um, before I jump in to introduce myself and get to the topic, let me introduce what the topic is. This is episode number 484, and I'm going to speak about integrity and due diligence as regards to dating. This is going to be fun. So let me start off by introducing myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful women find balance and create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And this is what inspired, originally, two years, almost two years ago, um, a live stream sequence has now become a daily broadcast called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And after the last couple of days, boy, it's needed more than ever. Um, I'm actually going to find my, I'm going to go find my first broadcast I did right after the election because the, what I said then is so relevant now, especially today. But anyway, so today's topic is going to start with, because <laughs> I know it's going to evolve, it's going to start with the um, theme of integrity and due diligence in regards to dating. It may not stay there though, um, because having watched the shenanigans, and I'm being very polite and very lighthearted about what's happened the last two days, it's very clear that you ladies have I've got to say this in a way that makes sense because I'm so tempted to say it in a way it doesn't work. So let me just hang on a second as I reframe this in my head. Um, the dating scene, I'd like to think, changed yesterday. And this one I know is a theory because it's not practical yet, but let's hopefully looking back in the next few weeks, look back at, at, at this weekend and, and yesterday with new eyes. And it's interesting because just totally out myself. Um, I had a first date today with somebody. I've got a first date tomorrow and I'm going to a mixed singles dating event tomorrow night. That hasn't happened for a long time. So I'm looking at the fact that after yesterday's events, yes, the hearing, in case you're, in case you're listening to this six months later going, what are we talking about? This is just talking about the Kavanaugh hearing yesterday and the voting today. There's a lot to talk about. But also, it's almost now becoming, and it's gonna sound crazy and maybe it doesn't affect you, but for me it's important, a talking point in early dating. Yes, it is. Because you can... <laughs> oh, I just had thought that. Okay, let me start a different way first, because if I get to that one right now, I'll be like, all game over. When you go on dates, I'm going to start light. Do you have any criteria in mind? Besides how they look and maybe their breath. I mean, I'm going to start with simple stuff and let's raise it up from there. It's tempting when you go out on dates just to go and see what happens. But having read a lot of um, posts and reports by friends of mine, you talk about what happened on first dates for them and the attacks they've been through. Yes, attacks they've been through. You might want to raise the criteria and your, and your due diligence before you go out on dates. So let me say this in this way because I don't want to scare you, but I want to make sure you're aware of this. So I've got two things I want to say. So one thing I want to say, which I hinted at earlier, is on the date I had today, like pretty much the opening conversation was, what were your thoughts about what happened yesterday? As in the hearing and the reaction and the perceived experiences. I believe right now, men, we have, a, we have to step up our game. And I don't mean game in the sense of playing, I mean to stand in integrity. Because ladies, Please, before you go on dates with anybody new, do your due diligence. Do some research. Because the blind date, I mean, I'm, I'm relatively comfortable doing this because I'm a guy. I, I have a certain level of self-protection and also immunity, which I don't take lightly as a man when I go out dating. I also hold a great sense of reverence and respect for women, so any woman who goes out with me, even just a first date, check each other out to, as friends, I, I I mean, it's like I'm, I'm selling myself. It's like, you know, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to try anything. I'm not going to push anything. But you don't know that well, with all, all the men out there. So I'm saying for you ladies, because especially for my clients who watch this, I'm really imploring you to choose carefully. And I don't just mean because their profile looks good. Because as you may have seen from what happened yesterday, the um, resume of the person of Kavanaugh didn't actually match the experience we had yesterday. 
and I'm not going to get into that too much because I don't want to get political about it, but the point is this, because I'm going to speak about the masculine, feminine, male, female treatment and respect. Yesterday was deplorable, and that's, that's a silly word to use. It was disgusting, to be blunt. And I would like to think that if you go out on dates with men, that, that you choose a quality of respect, and if you don't get it from the get-go, you walk away. Literally, put down your drink and walk away. So if you're on a first date with somebody and you go for drinks with them, don't even finish the drink. If you get an immediate hit, if you get flashing indications that you're ignoring, stop, put down the drink, walk outside and get a can, walk away. Do not even go any further. There's too much of this criminal behavior happening that you ladies need to deserve better. And it's not gonna come just from putting up with men who don't treat you right. This is the thing, so many of you ladies and I'm not saying this as a judgment, I'm saying it as an experience, is that ladies, you put up with shit that you shouldn't put up with. And it's time to be willing. I posted something yesterday about it's better to be single than being in the wrong relationship. And this is especially true. That being single is not a bad place to be, especially if you're choosing relationships that don't honor you, respect you, serve you, and make sure you're taken care of out of respect and appreciation. So my point, as I'm getting clear about, very clear about as I'm saying this is, you deserve better relationships than maybe you've been having in the past. And yes, I've got lots of coaching and online programs that can help you with that. And, I, and I'll put links at the back end so you can check them out. So I'm letting you know now at the back end of this, if you look in the comments, you'll see links to various things I have to offer. But I'm not going to talk about it here. I want to make sure you get the point that you deserve better. So first of all, set your standards higher. If you're not having the relationships that really honor you and respect you, choose better because you deserve better. And it's not saying there's no good men out there. That's not true. They may not be as obvious or as overt as some of the men you've been entertaining or meeting or have been seeking you out. Choose higher. And this is the thing. You may have been convinced by other men that your value is less than it is. You may have been convinced by other men that you don't deserve better than who they are because they may be yelling at you like and yelling at you as you walk away that you won't get any better than me. Well, yes, you can. Absolutely you can. And I don't even know who those guys are, but I know you can. Because if the man says that, he's not worthy of you. So integrity and due diligence. I'm using yesterday as a springboard because I watched a man express his views out of integrity. And clearly, the due diligence wasn't done to investigate him before he did his talk. That simple. If you saw me yesterday's broadcast, I was talking about respect, which is part of this. And it was a hard talk for me to do because I, I was so emotionally out of alignment. I, I think I made some points, I hope I did. But I felt some challenges with expressing it clearly because I was emotionally caught up in this. So I can't even begin to fathom how much you ladies were emotionally invested, upset, disturbed, distraught by what happened yesterday. I got a sense of it, but I'm a guy, so I wouldn't be able to say to you, I know you feel, but I can empathize. And this is the thing. No, no, that's not relevant to this topic. <laughs> I was going to define the difference between sympathize and empathize, but you can figure it out for yourself. So getting back to the point. If you don't choose relationships with integrity, with, with honesty, with respect, with appreciation, do yourself this big favor. Leave. And if you're married with kids, I'm saying the same thing again. If you've not been respected, appreciated, and honored, and given the due respect you deserve, leave. I'm serious about that. Now how you do that, if you've got entanglement with marriage and kids and everything else, has to be done. But the thing about it is you don't deserve to be hurt, abused, or diminished. And it's any level of that. And yes, I know that so many of you are tied up into the paradigm of re recy recycling of that abuse and hurt because that unfortunately is something that we go through. It's something that we tend to repeat because of our wiring inside. And I talked about it before about our programming, but I see how more important it is now than it was before. What I'm sharing with you are hopefully inspirational ideas to take to heart, to do the work necessary so that you don't settle for less than you deserve. It's funny, I'm feeling like I'm making these points in a simpler format and shorter format than usual because they're really to the point. Um, so just to play a little bit from what I said before, how I have a, a full weekend of dating experiences coming up, <laughs> starting already with lunchtime today. I got a feeling this conversation about, I should say this 
topic of conversation from yesterday and today will be, a, will be front and center with every woman I meet for the next few days. Not to trigger them, but to offer support and to share caring for what's happening. What happen, what's happening is, is, is a big disturbance of the force, so to speak. And having just read, um, in fact, I'm gonna post it a little bit later, um, having just read Marianne Williamson's response, I was smiling reading it because I get what she says. And I've been talking about it too, is that what, what, they, do, what they don't know, they don't know, is they've woken the giant. So watch out in November. And before that too. Anyway, that's getting off track. I'm getting, getting, trying to get pl away from pl politics. This is a reminder that ladies, if you're single, don't change that unless you find a man who deserves you. Clear? I wanna make sure it's really crystal clear. If you're single, there's no reason to choose a relationship, even if the clock's ticking, you know what I mean, unless you choose and find a man who deserves you. If you choose a man who doesn't respect and appreciate you, he doesn't deserve you. This is the simplistic way of putting it. And again, I'll put some links to the back end in, in the comments you can check out afterwards. Um, but I implore you to get support. Support from your friend, your female friends. And if they're not choosing well, don't, you, don't use them. Because here's the thing. A lot of times it's easy to tell how women are choosing to respect themselves by the men they choose. And some women, I'm gonna say this as well, and I'm being blatant about this, are choosing men who they think they can fix or save or salvage or train, yeah, train. And I'm saying clearly, it ain't your job. So ladies, I'm imploring you, choose a man who's already got his act together. I don't mean he's got the nice car and the nice house, because a lot of those men aren't, haven't got their act together. Externally, yes, internally, no. I'm talking about internally. Choose a man who understands the emotional journey. Choose a man who has emotional maturity. Choose a man who understands what a woman is about to the degree where he can respect and appreciate you in all circumstances, not just in bed, even when you go out together. Because there are some women I know have been in relationships with men who may be great in bed, but treat them like shit on the street. Yes, I said that, and that isn't kosher. So I'm saying to you, please, choose relationships where you have a man who respects you, who is an in integrity, so that when you go out with him, you can depend upon him and trust him, because a true man who is in his heart and his alignment is somebody you can rely on, stand on, trust, and depend upon absolutely from the get-go. If you haven't got that, walk away. I think I made my point clear enough this time. It's a fundamental piece of relationship. If you want to be in a relationship where you and your partner respect each other, it sounds so simple, but how many times do you not do that? So this little lesson is brought to you by the hearings yesterday <laughs> in, a fun, in a funny sort of way. And I wanna make sure this point was clear because it's been on my mind since yesterday and it's really been challenging me to um, frame it in a way that would land. So hopefully this makes sense to you. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below and I'll respond after I sign off. Again, I'll put the links to what I'm, some offers I have in the comments, you can read them there. Um, if you wanna share it with somebody, please share it with somebody you think might get benefit from it. Also, um, as a reminder, this is a Facebook Live initially that goes onto my business page in the archive, which is barryselby.author on Facebook. It also goes onto my YouTube channel, where it disseminates all over the place. All my social media is my name, Barry Selby. So on my YouTube channel, you go to Barry Selby as the, as, the, as the channel, and Messages for the Masculine is the playlist. Actually, it's the username on YouTube is my name. And the, ch and the playlist is Messages for the Masculine. And it's now on my podcast. I have a podcast on iTunes called Messages for the Masculine. You can subscribe and download there. Oh, by the way, on YouTube, please subscribe there as well. Um, I'd like to build my YouTube channel out. I haven't even bothered with that really, but that's where you find them. In fact, if you want to watch my replays, that's the best place to look is on YouTube. But if you watch it on my business page on Facebook, it's easy to interact with comments there. So with that, I thank you for watching. I'll be back in tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Um, yeah, I will. And that'll be number 485. So thanks for watching as always. Take care of yourselves. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.